Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Yes, okay. Still getting things situated here. Haven't quite worked out the intro outro movie yet, so like the whole like Peter and Company thing that I used to do. Yeah. Haven't quite figured out how to keep that going, so uh <laughs> I'll work that out, but uh Yes. Hello guys. How y'all doing? Let's get some music going here. Hold on a second. I feel like the Earthbound soundtrack tonight. You guys like Earthbound? I like Earthbound. Let's play Earthbound. <laughs> All right. So, yes. <laughs> Hey, d get, t tell me, uh, do me a favor. Well, I'll, I'll ask when there's, when there's more people, I guess. Uh, yes, you do see a Lego Batmobile, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I have a Lego Batmobile. <laughs> I love this thing. Holy crap, the camera's off center. Hold on a second. It's... I need to actually have it look where I'm looking. There we go. Yes, see? Lego Batmobile. A little dusty, actually. I'm gonna dust this thing off. Usually it's shinier than it is, but yeah. It's even got Batman on the inside, too. You can barely see him. There you go. Yep, I swap out. I have, like, a rotation of stuff that I, uh... <laughs> that I cycle out as it goes. But I'll always have, like, Marcus. I'll have my Marcus bobblehead, and I'll have my Samus bobblehead all the time. But then, like, the other stuff I'll just kind of cycle through. Sub glitter, hey, Thoi T, and sure... As as the alal, as as lal the alal. Okay, hold on a second. This shouldn't be on random. I want to play it straight through. A man of steel, Lego. That's interesting. Can you guys hear the music? Okay. I turn it up a little bit. And is my voice too loud? Because this is the thing. I'm I'm still trying to refine the. Uh, How's that? Is it a little bit better? Or can you like barely hear anything now? <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. On the positive side, I ordered the new camera again. <laughs> again, because the old one broke and it didn't work. It was a defective used camera instead of the new one that they advertised. They sent me one that was loose in a box. So, I ordered one that was brand new this time. Manufacturer, so I know that it's, you know, sealed in the box. So it's going to be good. If it's not good, then Logitech is a crappy webcam maker, which I know isn't true. So, hopefully this time it'll work. But yes. That should be here within the next week or so. Man, it's still off center. What the heck? Why is it doing this? Oh, it's getting pulled from the cable being all the way over there. Okay, let me try this. See if this helps. All right. Yes, your work in progress. Post it. Post it. Post it. <laughs> if you guys can't hear the music, let me know. It's kind of a an earthbound kind of night just because I'm anxious for them to release it on the virtual console. Hoping they do it soon. Sooner rather than later. What's up, Mordek? 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 Uh, Mord Mordek. Yes. Okay, let me see. Hold on just a second. keyboard around here. Ah, pretty cool. You doing that uh, traditionally? Peter dreaming. <laughs> Jager was beating up Korgar. That's, uh... Wow. <laughs> Impressive, sir. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. There we go. 
Junk on my desk here. Ugh. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Put that down there. I'll just put this right here, I guess. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Golly. I need to get a handle on my disorganization here. Actually, let's just put on general game music. Let's not do Earthbound. Earthbound... Earthbound's good for me to work to, but I think more people would get annoyed by it than anything else. So, Alright, let's put on... Propaganda. Yes, my messy desk is messy. I, I really need to, like, just... Everything over here is just a big cluster of chaos. And here it's, like, somewhat organized, but, like, I go to the right and everything's just <laughs> over here, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Propaganda. Propaganda. What game are you playing, dude? You said you're playing a game, what game are you playing? Just a hit. <laughs> hey, Sir Kane, welcome. <laughs> Man of the hour. I'm putting your uh, character on screen so I can have it for reference. Boom, boom, boom. Alrighty. So now, question, Sir Gain, did you want me to? Um, did I don't because you said it was you. You wanted it like up to me to to figure out what happens in the comics. So I, I wrote two pages worth of uh, dialogue and stuff. Didn't know if you wanted to read it beforehand or if you'd rather just be surprised. Uh, that's up to you. I can send it to you or you can uh, hold tight while I put it on paper. <laughs> Either or. You tell me what you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that ref will work fine. I'll be able to I'll be able to handle it without any issues. I will let you know if I need more uh, reference material, but that should be fine. That that one should be fine. There will be no eggs. Okay. Let me, uh... Let me pop aim back on again. Man, my glasses are all smudged up. Hold on a second. <laughs> Can't see anything! There we go. No, my dragon! There will be no eggs! <laughs> Okay, uh, let me load up aim here real quick. Alright, so that's done. So I don't need this anymore. At least not temporarily here. Should be okay. Let's get some other music going. Hey, come on. Okay. Let's see here. Hey, dude, I am sending you the file that I have. It's, it's written in my comic scripting format that I do, so uh, it's not like a normal Word document. Um, you'll see when you when you see it. You'll see it. Um, Okay, sending it to you now. If you want any changes made, um, well, I've already got the panels down, so <laughs> I can change it if you need to. 
Uh, I'll just restart the page then. <laughs> I could, uh, I could try, Thwaitsy. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. Alright, I will hold tight then before putting anything on paper. Alright, this song, yeah. All for duty, our music most of the time, but yeah. cat hair all over everything. Let me see. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The song Scar sings, yeah. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Uh, not at the moment. I've got far too much work already. <laughs> I have too much on my plate as it is. Um, I've got commissions to work through. I've got Kickstarter artwork that I owe people that I've still been working through. But I will be posting as soon as I'm able to. It's just that the pilot episode is going to be taking up the majority of my time. So I'm not going to be able to take uh, any new commissions for a, a, a bit here. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little little bit of time. But I'll be posting when it's uh, when it's time for or when, when I'm able to take more. Hey, Bowler, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey, when I bring up the screen, because apparently, like, when, I, when I'm when i streaming just from the head cam, um, you can only hear the music from the speakers on the TV. But if I stream the desktop, you'll be able to, you should be able to hear the music a lot louder, like it's streaming it directly from the HDMI. So when I do this, tell me, does the music get louder when I do this? Like, is it, like, like super loud? Yeah, let me... That's that's the character, by the way, that's going to be fighting Korgar. <laughs> Just clearer. Yeah, it's, like, actually clear now, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll keep it like this for a little while. Just for a little bit. Just because it's also fun having the chat room. <laughs> Alright, let me bring this over this way here. Let's come this way. Oh no, this is Donkey Kong Country too. <laughs> This is Bayou Boogie from Donkey Kong Country 2. Now not 
think I've got everything. Okay. Most everything ruled out that I need to rule out. We are streaming the chat log because, eh, I figured. Because <laughs> right now all I'm doing is the dialogue on the page. And also this way you guys can actually, uh, well, here, yeah, if I go like this, can you see the screen bigger? Well, a little bit bigger. And I'm doing it this way because it's, uh, you can like, you know, <laughs> chat log art, yes! <laughs> Everyone start typing in ASCII. Okay, um... Because this way you can actually hear the music better. Otherwise, I would have to crank up the music. Yeah, you think I use your Facebook picture boulder? Awesome. <laughs> and Mike, I hadn't heard anything about them trying to incorporate achievements into the TV for Xbox. <sighs> Make it the... F Freaking game console and leave it at that. You know, it doesn't need all this extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Achievement unlocked. Uh, achievement unlocked. Change channel. <laughs> Turn off boring show. <laughs> oh, Jack? I think I've seen Jack before. Boom, boom, boom. 
What? Oh no, this is not. This doesn't have anything to do with Peter and Company. This is just a commissioned. Uh, this is just a commissioned comic. This is this is not uh, part of the Kickstarter or part of uh, the Peter and Company pilot or anything. No, this is this is a uh, an unrelated. Uh, this is an unrelated thing. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely eviler. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that comic can get extremely dark. Crap, I wrote that in freehand and that's not going to work. I need to measure that out real quick here. Okay. Just eyeball over where the uh, lines will go. That's pretty good. Just give me some sort of baseline to put the text on to keep it uniform. I can fit that in the two lines, actually. Like this. There you go. <laughs> Not you. We named the monkey. <laughs> hey, Demifer. Yeah, I'm just doing the text. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it back once I start uh, doing the actual drawing. Yeah. I did it this way just so you can hear the music, but I can put it back. Let me turn the music back up. Can you guys hear the music now? Because the thing is that when I'm just putting text down, it's not there's not much to see when I'm doing that. So it's like, eh. So, oh, but I can keep it, yeah. excited to see what the uh, what the new 3D uh, Mario game looks like. I'm wondering if it's going to be another galaxy or if they're going to do something else with it. It's kind of weird, but I'm hoping that it's going to be something a little bit more open world than the past Mario games. <laughs> that would be really interesting to have like a like how Lego City is set up, how it's all like, you know, one living, thriving world where Mario could just run around the Mushroom Kingdom, but like you can go to like different sections, and it's you have the different individual levels which you can then go into, and like collect stars and everything else, and it would just be oh, that'd be really interesting. But I don't, I don't think they'll do it that way, but eh, I don't know, that'd be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, well, I'm, I'm always excited for Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is always good. I'm really excited to see what uh what Sony shows for the PS4 as well. I want to see what their their uh, exclusive exclusive are going to be. There's something under the page. Is it? Oh, yeah. Where I had scratched the board, it's got a bump coming up. Eh. This table's so freaking old. <laughs> it's been through hell. <laughs> but it's a good, solid art table, so. <laughs> Can I make a phoenix? A phoenix avatar? Interesting. <laughs> okay. So, dialogue's in place. Let me put the word balloons around so I know where to draw. Actually, I can do because I want the little bartender guy, the little bar owner is going to be this snivelly little frog guy. In fact, let me get some preliminary sketches done. I haven't done any character sketches here yet. Let me do that. Alright, here we go. And let's to the side. Yeah, I don't do any like heavy lines until. All right, so he's gonna be like this, kind of like a snivelly. Yeah, he's the owner of the bar, the little frog character. I thought he'd be like this really cool, like kind of hunched over. Uh, let's see, kind of like a a wide-headed looking critter.
I'm gonna be like an old toady looking guy. <laughs> He's gotta have like bumps and warts and stuff like that on his chin. Yeah, like there you go. Max. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Captain Jack tonight, Demifer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up hope. big bump like right at the top of his head like he's got like a boil or something and so Kenny's like <laughs> head's all bumpy and patchy and blotchy and gross looking oh, I gotta give him that that under neck thing too like the I forget what it's called but that that stretchy part of the neck that like comes like this underneath even though his neck is really like thin up here, like this. He in there, there. <laughs> He's in there, seated at the bar. He regularly climbs that part as minions, and I'm losing business. 
Yes, stupid pencil sharpener is eating my pencil again. Arrgh. Okay, I gotta go slow. Ah, careful, careful. Don't break the pencil lid. Don't break the pencil lid. Just broke the pencil lid. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a... Ah. Come on, you piece of junk. Does Whitney have another pencil sharpener around here somewhere? Damn it. Uh, one more time. If this breaks again... Slowly, slowly, slow... No, 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 didn't break, didn't break. Hold on, one more. One more. Ha ha ha, I got it. Alright, good. There we go. side of it or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. He's a very uh, ornery little barkeep. <laughs> well, maybe I should make him fatter. Maybe I should make him like super like hunchback like this. Like, ah, oh, this is even better. Okay, I like this even better. Let's uh, abandon this here. Let's make him like super... this here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Make his back all hunched over like this. And his belly is like... <laughs> yes! There we go! There we go! Geriatric bullfrog that runs a bar. What do I care what you think? <laughs> He's a pro, yeah. There you go. There's the barkeep. He's like, meh, give me that. Oh no, you still will, you still will, Max. <laughs>
What's up, guinea pig? <laughs> I'm gonna log out of my messenger so I don't get random notices every five seconds on here. I could do this song back in the day when I was like really really heavy in the DDR. I could play this song on on the the, the heaviest it was heavy difficulty or expert I guess um, on doubles. So there's one person on two pads, and I could do that like on heavy arcade. It was crazy in the arcades. So much fun, but I I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I tried, and Whitney laughed at me. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> hmm, bad things happened. <laughs> this is one of the, the few times where I'll draw Korgar not wearing his trademark sweater vest. <laughs> Giant foam cowboy hats. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Eh, I don't look for colors tonight. That's fine, Sircane, yeah. This isn't an official Peter and Company stream, so it's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, needed erasers will melt if you let them get warmed up too much.
Hey, Wuffles! Yes, I am. <laughs> Korgar's minions, again. <laughs> Except this time they're wearing like little pieces of medieval armor. <laughs> Improve this one here. <laughs> this one should have like full on like horns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do this. The feathers? What feathers? <laughs> yes, as impractical as possible, exactly. <laughs> Yay. Yes, as yeah, what's up? Feathers and plumes on helmets served a real purpose. What was the purpose? I need to do more more uh, research on like armor and helmets and stuff. I'm just kind of like making it up as I go along. Actually, let me see if I can get some reference material. Hold on. Uh, let's see if I have some of this. If it's over here. Here we go. This would be a good book to look through for some inspiration. Yes. Uh, 
Lord of the Rings, Weapons and Warfare. All right. Now we can actually see some uh, interesting ideas for helmets and stuff. Oh, here we go. These are the men of Gondor. Let's get to the, the troll area. Where are the orcs? These are the dwarves. Wait, this is Moria. This should be... Should be here somewhere. Here we go. The cave troll, the orcs of Moria. Here we go. Alright, let me see. Hmm, the mouth of Sauron. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that helmet. I'm mostly just looking just to see how helmets are shaped and things like that. Just get some ideas for what I can give the kittens. Because literally, like, they're, they're in there, like, throughout the comic, but just, they're literally going to be, like, little tiny little things. So, like, miniature versions. <laughs> miniature versions of helmets and stuff, so. I don't think the Citadel Guards, no. Rokai, here we go, here we go, here we go. Swordsman, shields, berserkers. Yeah, every single piece of armor in the movie had crazy. Yeah, this is kind of like a like a fantasy based uh, yeah kind of deal. This isn't really. Specifically set. Okay, let me see. Goes down here. I mean, this is more of a. Hey, Dan, what's up? More of a just unrelated, for fun kind of deal. <laughs> a chibi of Peter <laughs> because it's possible Pretty much, Korgar comes into this pub all the time and decides to uh, <laughs> claim the bar for him and his minions. <laughs> <laughs> Tornado striking Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Wow, that's not good. Whoa. 
is on the ground near I-40, heading into western Oklahoma City. Wow. Uh, what? 100 mile per hour winds? How big is the tornado? Do they say how big it is? <sighs> yeah, I love Lord of the Rings. I'm not a hardcore fan of like I don't I don't know all the uh, like the terminology. I don't follow it like rapidly, but I do love Lord of the Rings. It's Wait, a mile wide tornado? Holy crap, a mile wide tornado is going into Oklahoma City right now. Holy crap. Hmm. That's not good. This one has chain armor on, apparently. <laughs> it's not chain armor, it's mithril. <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun with this with this uh, comic, Arcane, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap, it's already 8.30? Oh, my God. All right, um, I got to speed this up. <laughs> this is going to take a couple streams to get through. Stupid pencil sharpener again. <sighs> Come on, stupid thing. Actually, the inking is a lot faster than the pencils. Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I gotta have a fuzzy one. <laughs> Wolf Wolves, what, what Bay Area artist group? Coloring is uh, definitely a lot of work. That's what's going to take me a while to get the second Peter and Company book done is I have to go back and recolor all the pages I've already done. Um, inking for me is a faster process than penciling. I do all my inking with a brush, so... I usually just kind of like fly through it a little bit. No, that was from, um, oh, what game was that from? Hold on a second. Let me get, uh, where's my iTunes? There it is. All right, that was from Unlimited Saga. That's what it was. That was an Unlimited Saga. A game that I played for about an hour and then was like, Ugh, I'm going to play something else. <laughs> okay, I need a. Let's see, do I have paper over here? Somewhere in here I have a page. Alright, I'll just use this. I need something to cover my hand while I'm drawing so I don't smudge the pencils while I'm doing this. This is the uh, profile view Peter Mouth Shapes, by the way. I'm just using it as a hand guide. <laughs> Repurposing, that's what it is. Repurposing. <laughs> so, uh, no. Sir Kane's uh, preferred weapon, the Vorpal Sword, the Black Sword, that's the magic one. So it's like a twisted blade. Just making sure that I've got the right design for it here. It's in there, yep. No raining way.
Get these books out of here. This song is obnoxious. Oh my god. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay. Ooh, sounds good. I do not. <laughs> That's fine, glitter. <laughs> His armor is pretty cool.
Okay. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Eh, I don't like where that leg voice one is. <laughs> yeah, FF7 was a pretty cool game. Although I've yet to play a Final Fantasy that beats Chrono Trigger. But that's just me. Everyone's always like, Final Fantasy 6 or Final Fantasy 7. And I'm like, Chrono Trigger. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm more into that sketch later. This is actually a commission. Yep, 
You're hearing a cat. I've got the door shut so they can't come in and bug me. <laughs> oh, crap. I need to get my reference. <sighs> my little guy again here. There we go. Creepy barkeeper toad guy. He looks so crotchety. Like, I gotta use this guy again for something later on. Ugh. No power power tonight. What do you like about it?
<laughs> it does kind of have Loki horns, yeah. I thought this was a different song and now I want to hear the other song that I thought it was. <laughs> it was this one I thought it was. I don't want the background characters over here. I'm sort of doing this in a Chronicles of Atomar style, <laughs> where everything is based around nature, which you guys don't know about yet, so I'll just shut my mouth. <laughs>
All right, I'll, I'll give you guys a uh, preview of it then. Um, in addition to Peter and Company, I also do a, or working on a graphic novel called The Chronicles of Adamar, which I haven't been able to show that much of yet because I haven't finished that much of it yet. But the basic concept is there's um, the world that all the characters live in is a world where the, the uh, inhabitants have rejected technology in favor of nature. And so it's kind of like this world where trees and moss and earth is kind of grown into their habitats. And so everywhere you go, there's like tables and chairs and stuff like that made out of living trees, not not chopped down. They're like actually living growths that they've managed to kind of harness and turn into whatever they need. So that's w one of the main elements of the story is the fact that the king, or the emperor rather, uh, lives inside a gigantic tree. And this is like, uh, basically it's like three or four trees that have been... Uh, mutated to kind of grow around a centralized structure which then branches out onto the branches and well actually have a picture of it hold on we'll find i'll find a picture of it hold on just a second here it's way back in my gallery because it's like a couple years old now and it is right here this is it. Ah. That's it. That's the first, that's the opening page of the book. And that's watercolors too that's uh i'm gonna be doing the whole book in ink wash and watercolor but with the peter and company pilot and everything i've got way too much work to do otherwise on on other things so i've just had to put it completely on the back burner yeah there's probably a bit of a delay a lag in the chat so yeah Yeah, the whole the whole book series. I've got it planned out to where it's about like six or seven books, and each book consists of five issues of standard comic length. So, if an issue is like twenty three to thirty pages, that's about hundred to one hundred and fifty pages per volume, and about five or six, well, five to seven volumes. I think I could probably tell the story, but the entire the entire story is written. Uh, beginning, middle, and end, and everything is a... Yeah, I love drawing trees. And n nature, in general. I just love drawing nature. And so, like, I figured, you know, why not make a story around it? Like, pretty much... Because <laughs> when I was a kid, like, you know how uh, in Peter and Company, Peter would go off into the woods, just kind of spend time on, so on his own? Pack up his backpack full of, like, sketchbooks and stuff. I would do that, and I would go out and just draw trees around the house like around my neighborhood there's a whole bunch of like uh natural preservation woods and i would go out there onto the paths and just sit there and sketch stuff because i just I, i've always liked trees i just always love trees so i would i would go out and do that and it just kind of stuck with me and i've done some like really interesting like charcoal studies of or uh, graphite studies of trees if you go even further back let me see if I can find, uh, there's a graphite study that I did. Those are old, 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 old. I believe is... Here we go. Here's a couple. I can go a little bit over. There's one, and 
There's another one. Ah, hold on a second. There's another one. <laughs> I can go a little over today. Um, I have to be there. I have to be there to pick her up. Uh, about. 9.30ish, 9.45ish, because she gets off at 10, and it takes about 20 minutes to get there, but uh, she might get off early, so I'll uh, head out of here in a little bit. Um, I want to finish at least this panel here before I jump out of here. I want to get as far as I can in this before I hit, before I jump out, basically. I kind of took a little inspiration also from Pogo. Um, have you guys ever read Pogo? Walt Kelly. Old classic comic strip. Um, he would do this trick with his character, Word Balloons, where uh, the word balloons and the, the lettering that he used reflected the character. You could tell how the character sounded just by the look of their word balloons and their lettering and everything. And I thought that was just fascinating the way that he did that. So I've kind of tried to do that in my own stuff a little bit. Like you can see it with whenever Iggy talks, how his simple lettering is like, you know, it's kind of a bit okay. You know, it makes him sound kind of weird. Yes, we have met the enemy and he is us. So it's, it's classic. Classic Pogo. Um... But yeah, the I'm gonna I don't do it too much in uh, I don't do it too much in Peter and Company, except outside of Iggy um, and the occasional uh, Korgar as well. Sometimes like his lettering will be like all crazy and the jagged word balloons. But in Chronicles of Adamar, I really want to push it. I want to go crazy with it to the point where one of the characters is this giant uh, this beast of a wolf character looking. He's just like this, almost like a Hulk, and um, his word he doesn't speak hardly at all throughout the entire series he's sort of like a a muffled you know mute kind of character but whenever he does speak his voice is so powerful that i wanted to actually break the word balloons and so i have uh in my well not out here i don't have it out here anymore but in my art supplies i actually have this uh aging varnish this aging and crackle varnish that you can put on over watercolor or any kind of traditional uh, medium, and it will actually age the paper and make a physical crack as it dries. If you dry it under a heat lamp, it will actually crack up, and so I can make it really look like the word balloons are shattering whenever he talks. I can actually have it be physically on the page, breaking. And so I'm, I'm going to try and I'm experiment with it and see if I can do that. Other, if it's too much work, I, I might not, but he doesn't speak very often. I want it to be whenever he does speak. I want it to be like a super powerful thing, so... I thought that would be a cool idea to play around with that and see if I can do it. And if I can't do it in traditional medium, I'm not going to do it. Like, I don't want to do it in uh, digital. That's the, the thing that I'm, I really want to try and pull off the Chronicles of Audemars with uh, traditional paint and other types of, like, fun medium and stuff like that. I don't want to do anything digital. If I can help it. <laughs> I might do a little bit of the lettering in digital with my with my uh, handwriting font, but otherwise I'll stick to that.
Hmm, what's weird? What's weird, Dan? I have a scanner. Um, I think the, the scanner I use is... It was high-end when I got it, but it's about 10 years old. So it may, it's kind of not as good as it used to be. <laughs> um, it's kind of showing its age a bit. Yeah, let's stretch this out a bit. Ah, that's a good question, Thwaites. <laughs> Very good question. Ah, son of a monkey butt. <sighs> Transformers Prime. You know what? I really need to get a different pencil sharpener. This one is eating my pencil. <sighs> Hang tight, I'll be right back. Pencils. This was a brand new pencil too, and look at it, it's already like almost dead. This was brand freaking new. Uh, I had never used that pencil before tonight. Alright. I, I really just need to get a new pencil sharpener in general. Like all our pencil sharpeners are old and it's annoying. In my day, we were lucky to have one pencil between the two of us. And we shared it and we liked it! Ugh, electric pencil sharpener? No. No, 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 no. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, man. I just realized that... Hold on a second. I'm going to draw him in here because I want to see more of him. Because this little guy right here, like, he's... <laughs> I want to draw more of him, and he doesn't have any more room in the comic. Like, he doesn't come in at all. I'll draw him in here. He's such a wrinkly, bumpy old toad. <laughs> in my day, we kept onions in our pocket, which was the style at the time. <laughs> How you doing, Zodi? 
I'm pretty good. Actually, I want his arm up. Yeah, I just use standard pencils and then I ink with a brush. So. Two, yeah, two pages. And I'm about halfway done with the first one. This is going to take me a little while longer because I had to work out some character designs and figure out some reference points and stuff like that. And... <laughs> I've heard that microbus. <laughs> that uh well Charles Schultz was amazing. can't check it right at this moment um as well 
Trying to get as much of this done as I can before I gotta jump out of here, which is like in five minutes. Five or ten minutes I gotta jump out. But there will be more streams with this with this comic, because I need to get this done. And I wanna get this done. I don't even know if that's necessary. Um, whenever you're available, dude, can you just uh, let me know when what your schedule is, and I will plan accordingly. <laughs> yes. Named after a uh, grocery store. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just let me know um let me know what your schedule looks like and I can plan around it. And I'll figure out when I'm going to be working on this again. Um I want to do two more streams this weekend. One if you're available oh, Sunday. Um Sunday we can let's, let's do Sunday. Let's do Sunday night for a stream for this cuz Saturday I want to do um uh, the mouth shapes for Seth. I want to get Seth's shapes knocked out so we can do the next voice sync test with with Seth. So I'll work on the uh, pilot stuff Saturday. I'll take off. I'm not going to do a stream tomorrow, but I'll do Saturday night and Sunday night. We'll continue with this. I might work a little bit more on it just to get some more panels knocked out because I want to get this done. But I'll show you the pencils before I ink them and then you can show. And then uh, I can show it to you and you can give me feedback and... Then I'll continue on to page two. What do you think so far? Yeah, Sunday will be best. Let's get close-up views of everything here. See, did it tomorrow. You have to go to a wedding as well? Aw. Well, I'll have all the, uh... I'll have all of them uh, recorded so you can watch them. If you want to follow it along. <laughs> Sorry, Aslel. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a really cool comic. He has sort of an ominous presence when he comes in, but it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. So, yeah. I'll uh, keep working on this later. But for now, I need to jump out of here. Um, like I said, I've got, I've got to go pick up the Whitney. So, um, Thanks, guys, for stopping by. Um, I will continue this. Well, this I'll continue on Sunday. But Saturday night, I'll have another stream. Uh, 8 o'clock, probably, normal time. Maybe a little earlier, depending... Well, depends on what time uh, Sir Kane's ready. Um, if you have nothing planned, we could start, like, earlier. Like, if you want me to start, like, around, like, 6 or something. I could start then. So maybe, like, make it, like, 6 o'clock on Sunday, and then... I'll figure out what time I'll be doing on Saturday, and I'll post a journal and notices about it and stuff, so... So, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye, guys.